Now that we've demonstrated the types of machines and how they're designed uh, to function, we're actually going to walk through setup and use of a CBX pasting machine. We're going to use the CB75X today, which is again a 32 inch working width. And today we're going to be using some Tebow non-woven 27 inch material as our test material to demonstrate with. So when using your machine, uh, you want to move it into position. Again, you have rolling casters that lock into place. So as you're setting up, first thing you want to do is lock your casters. You have locking casters both on the front and the back, which keeps the machine very stable and allows you to work with it without it moving out of position. So again, you have the option on your material bar for wide width materials, large diameter materials you can place on the lower uh, attachment on your stand but it is also possible to place your material on the machine itself for smaller diameter materials or if you want to use your machine in conjunction with a swivel. Swivel will not work when your material is set up on your stand because once you add a swivel to the setup, your paste machine is rotating and so the material needs to rotate with the swivel. So now we have our material loaded onto the pasting machine. Uh, we've got our wheels locked. We've already set up our stand, got that locked into place. So we're gonna fill our pasting machine. First thing, make sure that your drain plug is in place. Always check that, that's something you don't wanna do. So check that each time. Uh, and then today we're using Roman 780 strippable clear paste. This paste right here on the label says it's machinable and it is a very machinable paste straight out of the bucket. We've added no moisture, added no water. We've not diluted this and we're going to go ahead and fill our paste well. The first time that you're using your pasting machine, when you're first setting it up for initial use, there's going to be voids down in the bottom of the paste well beneath the paste roller that you'll want to go ahead and fill in by priming your roller. So to start with, you want to go ahead and turn your roller, get paste flowing onto that roller. That paste is going to move into the voids underneath your paste roller, fill in those voids, and it's going to level out. And you're need, going to need to add a little bit more paste after doing that to go ahead and get it to the maximum level so that it's going to paste efficiently. Once that is done, we simply take our material, we load it over and onto the paste roller and then just onto the catch bar. This keeps the material from going into the paste and into the paste well and becoming a mess and problems. You want to keep your hands clean while you're pasting. So then you close your lid and again, so now your material is underneath your first guide roller, over your paste roller, underneath your second guide roller and this creates a tension that pushes that material down onto your paste roller and allows it to turn the paste roller as the material is pulling through. So we want to adjust our paste settings on our machine. Now this is something that you get a feel for after using your machine for a while, but I typically am going to start on a normal non-woven on setting one. So I move my dial into position on one and I do this on both sides equally. I tighten this thumb screw once I get my setting into place and that has positioned my roller to a certain distance from my spoiler plate on the machine so that my paste is going to be taken back off as it rotates, goes through the paste well, picks up paste. It's going to be taken back off of the paste roller in the same increments all the way across your paste roller and then applied to your material. Unlike some of our other machines uh, that use a 
our geared machines that use a scraper bar, this machine does not use a scraper bar, so it does not leave the rows that many people refer to that are left behind by a scraper bar. So this is just as smooth as applying paste by a roller, but perfectly accurate side to side, end to end. So I'm gonna lock my wheels back in place. And now we're ready to start pulling paper. Again, my paper is sitting on my catch bar, not in my paste, so I've got a clean edge to work with. I simply take my material, pull it around, and I'm ready to start pasting. 